Okay, well, we've got breaking news from overnight. Uh, crisis averted. The White House says they've reached a tentative deal with rail workers that will uh, stop the crippling strike that was going to happen. Oh, boy, it was on the horizon for tomorrow, as a matter of fact. We have Crown Force Camila Barco standing by live in the newsroom with more on this uh, early morning good news. Camila? Yeah, you guys said it. This tentative agreement came just 24 hours before rail workers were set to go on strike on Friday. The rail companies were able to avoid a massive strike and President Joe Biden he called this agreement an important win for the economy and the American people. The negotiations started yesterday morning and lasted about 20 hours at the Labor Department in Washington DC. The areas of concern for the workers was sick and bereavement leave. Workers say real companies have not been willing to agree to some requests for example not approving personal time to see a doctor without risking disciplinary action. However after hours of negotiations Negotiations, rail companies and union negotiators came to a tentative agreement. President Joe Biden said rail workers will get better pay, improved working conditions, and a peace of mind around their health care costs. Now, according to the Association of American Railroads, these new contracts provide rail employees a 24% pay increase during a five-year period from 2020 through 2024. It also includes an immediate payout, payout of an average of $11,000 upon ratification. Now, the tentative agreement, agreement avoided a huge shutdown of rail lines. If the strike had gone through, it would have handicapped the economy because products that are shipped on trains would have stopped across the country, which in turn would have resulted in higher prices. Right now, rail companies like Amtrak say that they are working quickly to restore canceled trains. They are also reaching out to customers who may have been impacted by any changes these negotiations have caused. Now, Daria James, this isn't over. The tentative deal now goes to the union workers for a vote. In the meantime, we're waiting to hear from President Biden. He is expected to speak at any moment about the tentative deal, and we'll see if we can get more from him in the next hour. But for now, I'll send it back to you. Okay, we shall see. Thank you very much, Camila. Tentative deal there, but.